Support me by giving this video a like, subscribe to my channel, check out my Patreon, or become a channel member using the join button below. Hello once again everyone, I am playing with Mui with another PWMW Reacts. So here we are for part two of my 19 part series, rewatching the original 19 Pokemon movies before the 20th one started that whole crazy alternate continuity thing. So Pokemon the Movie 2000, the second of the two films that I watched in theaters, surprisingly the first one being the first movie. After this I was done with the theater watching for Pokemon movies. I don't know what happened. Anyway, so I think with this film and probably with all of the others, I'm probably going to get plenty of nostalgia comments of people saying, oh my god, you're watching my favorite Pokemon movie of all time. I'm sure that this has got to be quite a number of people's favorite movie, or favorite Pokemon movie. Uh, for me, as I mentioned at the end of the last Grax, uh, I'm going to be mentioning the movie tier list that I made years ago, and where I placed all of them starting at the beginning of each video. And for movie two, uh, yeah, it looks like I placed this at number 11. Yeah. Sorry to disappoint anybody, but uh, I found this one average compared to the others. Not great, not bad, just, you know, it kind of in the middle. Uh, and again, I never made any notes as to why, so I guess in rewatching it, uh, I'll figure it out as we go along. So this version of the movie that I'm watching is 1 hour and 20 minutes and 46 seconds long. Uh, again, as per usual, if you missed it the first time, I'm not actually showing the movies in these videos. I'm just posting my commentary in reaction to them and giving you the chance to watch along if you want to with me. If, you know, if you have the movie yourself. You know, you provide the movie. I ain't doing that. I'm not getting my channel banned. And then you can watch along with me, you know, if you feel like, or you can just listen to me react to stuff that you're not saying the context, which is odd. Anyway, so that said, I'm going to go ahead and count this down and we'll get right into this sucker. So here, oh, and, and also, again, um, uh, I'm going to be skipping the Pikachu portions at the beginning. We're just going straight into the main movie. No extra Pikachu bonus stuff going on here. Sorry. So here we go. Three, two, one, now. Okay. Here we go. Oh boy. Wee yep. There's a handful of things that I remember about this movie. A couple of which I'm not a big fan of. But, uh, you know, hopefully it won't be as bad as I remember. Oh, this was actually something that I really enjoyed, the, uh, the, the music. On Slow King. Yeah, that's right, we're, we're firmly into Gen 2 at this point. Turn to ash. <sighs> that quote. Whatever that thing was, was awfully complicated. He has floaty things. If you couldn't tell, this is the villain of the movie. Shocking. Shamudi, Shamudi.
this is um not where you find them in the games, surprisingly. Uh, it's really shocking, but this is literally not how this works in the games. It would be actually kind of cool if that's how that worked. Because, to be honest, the the positions of... Honestly, I'd say Zapdos and Moltres is just super random. Where they're just like... Zapdos is just in a power plant. And Moltres is just underground. <laughs> Whereas Articuno is literally on like an island. I feel like it would have made sense for all three of them to be on an island. That that probably would have been cool. Alright, so this is this dude's plot. He's just going to piss off Moltres by shooting its little island and and then making it come after him, I guess. What is it? Is it he's shooting ice? Oh, clearly he's pitting them against each other, right? He's like he's making, making Moltres think that Articuno is doing this. But why? Uh oh. This is some weird game of chess. Oh my god, it's Moltres! Yay, guys! <laughs> it's Fire Chicken. I have to admit, me for me personally, I always felt that Moltres was my least favorite of the three legendary birds. And honestly, they just go straight in order for me. Articuno's my numero uno. That I like, I kind of like Zapdos. Who doesn't? And then Moltres is just kind of there. <laughs> I guess that's why Moltres is getting captured first here. <laughs> because, you know, it's not as great. I, hmm. <laughs> so we're only four minutes in. I, I, well, we're within like four minutes in, and he already captured Moltres. So, you gotta expect that within 12 minutes, he's gonna have all three of them. And that's pretty overpowered, even for, like, in the games. <laughs> Catching all three legendary birds in less than 15 minutes seems kind of unrealistic, I'm gonna be honest here. <laughs> crazy. Alrighty. <laughs> What a crazy... Like, it's just... It, that just made it just so easy. Just a little too easy. Just too easy. It's not allowed to capture Moltres that easy. <sighs> this is why this was number 11. Just the un the unrealism of catching a legendary Pokemon in three minutes. Yay. <sighs> Every adventure is his greatest. Oh, this had Tracy in it. I I saw him earlier and I didn't even think about it. Thank God Brock's not here, otherwise this uh, ship captain would have been endlessly objectified. I don't remember this remix. This is kind of good, I guess? Yeah, we gotta have the opening credits where we just, like, throw out everybody's Pokemon. Although... Also, yeah, that brings up a good question. When did this, this movie come out? Uh, English version came out in July... Oh my god, the auto-tune. Yeah, I was gonna say, this is the Pokemon Gold and Silver uh, intro. <laughs> I don't remember what 
Charizard's whole subplot was... Wait, Snor... Oh, that's right, he had a Snorlax. I forgot about that. There was like, I think there was like a, just a certain point where Charizard didn't really hate Ash as much, and then and then laughed Ash as like pretty much all of his Pokemon do, or you know he just gives them away when they're like overpowered. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't remember if that's this point. Also, Tracy has a Scyther. That's kind of badass. I'm just saying. I know. Mewtwo's back! Oh no! Pikachu's trying to be all stoic and tough. <clears throat> I, I mean, you guys, you have Pokeballs and you can put them back in there. <laughs> I love their little Magikarp ship or submarine. All <laughs> those Magikarp, look at them go. <laughs> Pikachu's trying to be all serious and stuff, and it just it just does not come off as well because it's Pikachu. Oh, this is very CGI right here. Goodness me. We're on the ocean floor. <laughs> if I recall correctly, there's a there's a legendary Pokemon that likes doing that. Going all the way down there. I don't remember its name. It's right on the tip of my tongue. I can't get over that name, Shamudi. <laughs> Who came up with that name? It's upside down. Pikachu, stop. The, 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 the reason why it just doesn't work for me is because in two seconds, somebody's just going to, like, cuddle Pikachu and he's going to become all cute again. Carp insurance. Uh, I don't remember this about the anime. I don't remember them making this many puns. Delia. Also, I love how they had to make a McDonald's reference. Because, <laughs> you know, Americans would get that, right? It's funny American reference. Wait a minute. That's Veronica Taylor. <laughs> she voices Ash's mom, too? Oh my god, she does. What's going on? I was like, man, she sounded just like May there. I can't get over that. How can it snow? I don't know. He it rhymes. Aurora Borealis. At this time of day, in this part of the country, localized entirely within your garden. Bye. It's just gone. I, I assume that was, you know, to say like, oh, hey, here's, you know, Zapdos and, and you know, Articuno or like Awakening or whatever. And all of the Pokemon are like freaking out about it.
I really feel like that... I really wish that that was something that was indicative of legendaries and mythical Pokemon, where, like, whenever they sort of emerge or awaken or whatever, like, crazy stuff happens. Hello. <laughs> that, that's not weird. Again, thank God Brock's not here. <laughs> She's so sassy and cool and edgy. <laughs> okay. The, the the other two certainly aren't Pokemon trainers either. Help. Wait, how does she know her name? <laughs> she just knows her name, what? <laughs> She's secretly a psychic type Pokemon. <laughs> I've read your mind. <laughs> Again, the shipping. The, the, like, I'm pretty sure like the Ash and Misty shipping in this movie is at, like, critical levels. Um, at the very least in the English dub, I cannot remember what they did uh, for the dialogue in the Japanese version. But in the English version, absolutely. It, it's, like, cranked up to ten here. Deep-fried Magikarp. Which, I mean, again, like, that's actually a thing. Like, how they eat Magikarp. Which is, it's weird. <laughs> num, num, num. <clears throat> this song is actually really nice. It, you know, I, I mean, I'm not even a Legend of Zelda fan, but it, it has some very Ocarina of Time vibes to it.
Those are fruits. <laughs> Sp spoilers? <laughs> Misty has not changed facial expressions in the last two minutes. <laughs> Her face is cool like that. All right. <laughs> Unnecessarily antagonistic. Yeah, I don't remember what Pikachu's deal is in this movie. <laughs> that sub. Well, rip. There he is again, being all serious. Uh, start paddling, I'm sure you'll catch up. <laughs> Hey, Slow King. <laughs> I'm just going to take this opportunity to just say, just to, to remind everybody, just in case anybody didn't know, I love Gen 2 so much. I really do. Uh, that's awfully dark. Oh, she changed clothes really quick. Alright, well, this plot just started moving at breakneck pace. Oh. oh, wow, I thought Misty didn't care. <laughs> it's time for you to stop. <clears throat> oh my god, hello? Thing looks like it's gonna just flip over backwards at any second. Gee, I wonder what those three lumps are. Um, but yeah, again, like I said earlier, the shipping levels are cranked up to maximum. Except for those. I was going to say, was that the Sevi Islands? Oh! 
Oh, God. Anyway, uh, the dude that was doing that news report really just needed to stop. That was just awful. <laughs> There is the underwater river that has linked across the entire world. <clears throat> Rip. No, no, it's not called the Pikachu, it's called the Rudder. Well, rest in peace to the rest of the ship. What happened to Team Rocket? Okay, that's not spooky and ominous. Well, which which of the islands are they on right now? Oh, right. Team Rocket is on this ship. That's right. Whoops. I may have forgotten the continuity already. Oh, what? I don't think that this is possible. <laughs> what is this, Gen 7? That's nice. <laughs> God, Misty just came up as like a huge know-it-all right there. Whoa. I knew, I said it was going to flip over backwards. <laughs> it just did a flip. Do a flip. She's just sitting there. Yeah, might as well just make some coffee. Why not? Have a little snack. <laughs> She's just eating. Oh. Also, yeah, snack sounds good. Maybe, maybe I'll get one of those after this movie. No. <laughs> oh, God? <laughs> what? What is this? A giant sail? Okay. <laughs> okay! <laughs> <laughs> They're just going up the steps like this. What in the world? Hee <laughs> hee. That red moon. Very interesting. What's up, dude? God, Moltres is huge. Loves company. I remember when Evelyn from League of Legends said that. How big is... I? God, I wanted to look this up really quick. How big is Moltres? 6-7? 6-7? That, that Moltres right there looked like it was at least 10 feet. At least. Okay. Those faces. I'm... I just... I don't remember this whole little, like, subplot with, like, why Pikachu's so serious and focused. Uh, 
I mean, I, I guess it's the whole, you know, thing that they showed earlier where, you know, oh, Pokemon are more attuned to nature than we are, you know, when they send something wrong, whatever. But apparently Pikachu just knows all of this stuff and, like, what to do, like, where to go. Well, it's a good thing that the first orb that he grabbed was on the island of the bird that is already captured. So he doesn't have to deal with Moltres. Which I assume would be the the idea here. You grab the orb and then they like appear or something. Just like in the games. Well, not with those, but I mean like with other legendary Pokemon. You know, you get a thing and then you place it in like an altar or whatever and the legendary appears. Oh! Hee hee. Oh my god. <laughs> what in the world? If they brought this boat all the way up here just to abandon it, I'm going to be really confused. All right. Thank you, Zapdos, for appearing. <laughs> Allowing us to focus on something other than that dialogue that just happened. What in the world? <laughs> Is this like when Pikachu shocked Rhydon with, you know, like by hitting the horn and like electrocuted it? Zapdos can electro electrocute rocks? <clears throat> <laughs> Dead. All right. Ah, uh, what in the world? This kind of mildly reminds me of um, the beginning of the Best Wishes series when Pikachu had, like, that electricity sickness or whatever because of Zekrom. This is a very weird way to communicate. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> This, I kind of remember this subplot, and I don't really understand it. I don't understand why there's this inherently antagonistic relationship between the three legendary birds. But why? It, it's just, I don't know, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, what do they gain from taking over each other's island? Like, they have to know... That one of them disappearing or dying or leaving is extremely bad for the world, as we've been shown for the past, like, half an hour here. Like, the, of all the Pokemon, they have to know that the most. Ugh. 
And I, and I feel like in the series, like, the Pokemon are the ones that don't have, you know, like, the ego and the hubris, you know, to want to, uh, you know, take over other things. You know, like, uh, um, you know, there's specific Pokemon that are bad that want to do that. But, I mean, with most, they're, you know, sort of like the good guys. Whereas the humans are the bad guys, as you would expect. So for them to do this, it's just really, I don't really understand it. Whee! Okay, why are, why is he capturing the boat? When <laughs> it's stuck there? The best of them all. Oh. Rugia. I'll never forget when um, Gen 2 hadn't yet come out, <clears throat> and I saw the name of Lugia, you know, without knowing the pronunciation, and I thought it was pronounced Lugia. Don't ask why. Just, just, I just did. <clears throat> All right, please stop reing. How, why, how, why are they conveniently in like a prison? And... <laughs> awkward, awkward face looking away. <laughs> I just love that. <laughs> you talk as if Pokemon are just things to collect. <laughs> stares at every Pokemon player ever. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, but yeah, so, again, yeah, so she just read the inscription of the tablet or whatever, that legend. Uh, the rehab upon the world, which they clash, whatever. I, I just still don't get it. I just don't understand why they want to just destroy everything. Like... <sighs> I just don't see legendary Pokemon as inherently destructive. Uh, I'm just kind of thinking of, like, Kyogre and Groudon. And that, like, that probably makes more sense of them being inherently destructive, but, like, they have Rayquaza to kind of, like, keep them in check. Which I guess this, the idea here is you know, the three of them have Lu Lugia to keep them in check. But again, it's just, I don't know. It just feels weird. Ivy is here. Does that mean Brock is near? <clears throat> Um, what was that? The reporter 
was clearly moving his mouth, but Oak was the one talking. Alright. Oh, look, that right, she was standing on the edge of the ship, too. I'm Ash's mom. <laughs> Funny you should say that when you let him go off on a journey across the world, meeting potentially dangerous animals. Okay. Now it's time for you to stop. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Ah, that was spooky. I mean, and again, I guess if they weren't doing this, we wouldn't have this sort of plot line where we have like this sort of dire situation where the three of them have to be put back, otherwise bad stuff happen. But again, I don't really see the need for them to fight each other. Hee <laughs> hee. It's funny because James dumb. <clears throat> uh, whoa. <laughs> Once again, Ash is doing stupid things that potentially will get him killed. So Articuno... I was going to say Articuno doesn't notice the giant flying UFO. Well, it does now. Why? <laughs> it's just like, you know what? I'm not actually going to pay attention to this thing that's shooting at me. I'm just going to keep freezing everything over. Oh, here we go. The third one isn't even captured yet, and Lugia is appearing. <clears throat> Roar. What? Wait, that thing had a shield around it, too. <clears throat> <clears throat> These two legendary birds are so noob that they just give up. They literally have to just, like, sit there and watch as other Pokemon are trying to save them. Whoa? Did that work? Yep. And Zapdos is freaking out about it. That'll do it. Oh boy, now we get to watch them beat each other up. Moltres is just like, bruh, I just saved you. And the villain dude is just seemingly not paying any attention to this. Uh, 
Oh, there he goes. Okay. I was going to say, uh, I, I don't remember if this was, like, part always part of his plan or whatever, but, yeah, it just definitely not. Love his little castle, castle ship going on here. It's like a medieval castle with, like, yeah, with, like, Renaissance paintings inside. And then, yeah, it's like a floating, like, future ship. Which is uh, frozen over, apparently. Goodness me. Oh, there goes the ship. And all of his antiquities. Antiques? Why did I see antiquities? <laughs> it's like little antiques or whatever that he stole or bought. I don't even know. Those aren't those things aren't even explained. I mean, again, I I feel like for this dude's plan, them escaping doesn't really matter. All he was really interested in was capturing Lugia. We everybody just used rollout. They're all dead. <laughs> that was a really long pause. My oh my goodness! Oh, oh no! That was the shrine thingy. Oh, second ball. How convenient that it just shot right over here. I don't remember what the significance of these orbs that he's kept uh, collecting are, but he has the fire and lightning ones. What in the world? Anyway, um, what was it? Um, oh shoot, now I forgot. <laughs> Thanks, Meowth. <clears throat> um, oh, uh, so I when Melody said almost all of the uh, people who you know go into the or do the the challenge thingy survive. <laughs> Imagine if every single person that did this challenge had to go through this. <laughs> it's just some villain that just shows up and just wants to capture all of them. And then they have to, like, deal with all of the three legendary birds fighting each other and trying to get them to stop. Hmm. Whee! Is Team Rocket actually okay? Well, rip the ship. That's it for that. Sloking! Are you really going to worry about that right now? I only got two, though. <laughs> he puts them in the wrong place and they just explode. The same way Melody just happened to know Misty's name. And yeah, I, I guess if, you know, we didn't have this whole plot of them wanting to fight each other, we wouldn't have these cool action sequences like this. 
because this is what people came to the Pokemon films for, to see lots of boom booms and explosions with the Pokemons. Oh. It's the Trio Master! It's the song. Hee <laughs> that rhymes. I always forget um Lugia's type. It's flying and psychic, right? Oh, that's neat. Yeah, flying and psychic. It's it's so like it's a little confusing because I always feel like it's part water type. Because of the whole thing where, you know, it spends all of its time at the bottom of the ocean. That ain't stopping him. That ain't Falco. <clears throat> Rip. Uh, they're talking about the person. <clears throat> also, is Lugia's is, um, is Lugia's signature move used by anybody else? I can't remember. It's Aeroblast, right? Oh yeah, no, it's Lugia's signature move. So it's got to use Aeroblast at some point in this film. <laughs> they just blast him after he falls under the water. Alright, now let's get back to pointlessly screaming and fighting at each other. <laughs> They're like a bunch of toddlers. <laughs> They're just slap fighting each other. I don't like her voice. Why is this with the Clefairies? Also, yeah, so despite this movie introducing Lugia, <clears throat> this is still considered a Gen 1 film. So, and this is the last of the, uh, obviously, two Gen 1 films. What is that thing that's moving? Is that a Kangaskhan? That thing was so fluid. To Ash Ketchum. <sighs> That's so goofy. <laughs> <laughs> so, remember that time with Mewtwo? Oh, wait. No, you don't. <clears throat> It's 
that song really just gonna revive Lugia? Wow. Love the little rainbow effect around it. Um, it, it's just, it's just so weird. Like, there's no way that that's the way that the, 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 the legend or whatever worked in the Japanese version, because his name is Satoshi, and the, uh, what? Hello? It's just super convenient that he happens to be the chosen one in this, like, eons old scripture or whatever. Huh? <clears throat> Being such a babby. <clears throat> Just have Snorlax use block. That thing's completely undefeatable in uh, in Pokemon Unite. So <laughs> just <laughs> have Snorlax stretch its arms out, and all three legendary Pokemon will just be screwed. What? Oh, the sail. Oh, we are, are we about to get... Oh, never mind. Oh, it's just using the rope. <clears throat> I thought... I thought he was gonna, like... Uh, MacGyver something out of the sail, and then we were just gonna get, like, some Wind Waker action going on. I remember when Team Rocket got serious for like five minutes in uh, the Best Wishes series, and then they stopped being serious again. Because God forbid the show ever evolves. Like the Pokemon. Hee <laughs> hee, get it? Evolves? Funny. <clears throat> I'm feeling this music, though. Wow. <laughs> How convenient that two regular-ass Pokemon just happen to be enough to stop the attacks of two legendaries. Also, it's pretty amazing that they had enough, uh, oh my god. We? Uh, it's amazing that, that the three legendary birds had enough conscious awareness to notice that there was somebody charging straight towards Ice Island. Like, they just, they happened to stop fighting for five seconds to notice that there was somebody all the way down there on the ground. Convenient. Oh. Oh, did they MacGyver something? <laughs> they made a, a an airboat. Oh my god. 
I, w <laughs> I was wondering for that few seconds there, how are they going to rhyme unscrupulous? And then James severely disappointed me. <laughs> noticed I just noticed how much Jesse's hair looks like Zoro arcs Are they not going to send their pokemon out at all? I feel like Weezing might be a bit of a help here. Pretty. <clears throat> I just I still can't get over that super dubulous. <clears throat> Wait, this one happens to be inside of a cave? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, perfect maneuvering by Meowth here. Gotta love that. Yeah, for a cat, Meowth sure has great uh, uh, digital maneuvering. <clears throat> well, now they have to grab it and get all the way back to the other place. Wow, well, look, he's the real chosen one. What? I was going to say, are they just ditching him? <laughs> oh, rip the boat. I mean, I want to feel bad for them, but I just can't. <laughs> they literally caused this. We. Oui. Yeah, it's it's kind of amazing now that I think about it. Oh, sure, we couldn't have done that the first time. <clears throat> Bye, Team Rocket. Thanks for helping for five seconds. Oh, no, they got on. Um, some of the legendary Pokemon actually are really jerks. <laughs> they really, really are. <laughs> now that I think about it, they're just jerks, man. Uh, just for no reason just other than just be jerks. We're going to get to a certain movie along the way, and that's definitely going to be a, a huge part of it, at least for me. Oh my god, stop. <sighs> Funny American jokes. <laughs> I love how they're literally in like a skydiving formation. Uh -huh. Or not. You would think that that water would be frigid. Everyone just does not care.
it's not. <laughs> hey, chefs, the, the last orb in there, nothing happens. It's just like the end. Oh? Oh, yeah, that's right, this guy exists. I mean, Ash, just jump off. Honestly, this is just way more important than you caring about Lugia right now. Let go! Oh my god. I think I guess it's probably too late, isn't it? Ooh! Was that- that had to have been Aeroblast, right? That was just incredibly powerful. Yeah, that has to be Aeroblast. <laughs> Moltres' screech. Again, you would think that that water would be just ice cold. <laughs> Everybody's just treating it like it's a damn jacuzzi. Oh, I hate water spouts. Those freak me right out. Hee <laughs> hee. Shipping levels at max. But really, though, why would Melody say, here, play this song, Misty, that you've never played before? <laughs> like, hello? Unless, I think I, I might have spaced out there, and I didn't really pay attention to what Melody said. And I think she said, here, I'll go look for Ash, you go play the song, which makes zero sense. <clears throat> Once again, Ash is dead. <laughs> this happens in, like, every movie. <laughs> Misty's eyes, I don't think Misty's eyes have ever really looked like that. They literally look like the color of the ocean here. Wake up, idiot. Good thing it's still there. Hurry up, 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 hurry up. Yeah, seriously, what, Tracy? Like, hello? Like, help him get there. Just, like, grab him. Nope. He he. He's really taken this chosen one thing to, to heart. You know, it's times like this when I really wish that instead of them making a completely different character, Slow King breaks it. Haha, I was the villain all along. Um, instead of them making a, a like a new character based off of Red, I really wish that they would have just made Red. For the anime, I mean. Oh! It just turned into ectoplasm. Oh my god. Gross? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's radioactive. This is uranium water. Okay. I don't understand. Why do they freeze over?
Oh, that's why. <laughs> okay, now I see. <clears throat> oh my god, I can't believe the legendary birds are dead. Oh? Oh, they just left Articuno there. Huh? There goes that radioactive goo. Whee! And of course, yeah, it's just gonna magically make its way over to Lugia. Is it gonna magic fix the sea, too? Well, it seems to have magically fixed them. They're all healed, and they don't want to fight. Hmm, how convenient. See, this is how legendary Pokemon should be getting along. Not all blasting each other with attacks and stuff. Oh, hey, it did magic fix the sea and the sky. Huh. Uh, I think I want you to get on, dummy. <laughs> Let me just stand there with my finger in my mouth. Those little... I don't even... Uh, scales? On Lugia's back are pretty cool. I like how they, like, kind of fold in when it goes underwater. Or they're like, or like fins, I guess. No, wait, yeah, no, that wouldn't make any sense. I don't even know what those are. <laughs> Maybe, uh, what's it called has a description. Bulbapedia. That's awfully pretty. God, that reminds me of a movie coming up. That really, really reminds me of one of the movies coming up. Goodness me. <laughs> oh, Bulbapedia describes them as plates. All right. Everybody's going back home. Bye. <laughs> I think you can stop playing the song now. We. We're just going home. Honestly, Zapdos' island looks just sad. <laughs> the other two islands look pretty normal. Zapdos' island just looks like somebody stepped on it. Sloosh. Zal. What, do they just not realize what happened? All right. Sweet. 
sploosh. <laughs> Mother. <laughs> It's like it's like it's like Veronica Taylor's talking to herself. No, that is definitely not going to happen. This makes me miss Veronica Taylor. It's good to know, though, like I, like I mentioned before, that, you know, she's at least still getting work. Yee! <laughs> Oh, good. Peter's not all stern and serious now. Oh! The ancient Mew card! <laughs> hey! I love how the villain gets literally no repercussions other than his ship gets destroyed. Oh, that's weird. Don't look at me. Yeah, wait, that's not good. You f absolute fool. All right. So once again, they just go completely wild with these amazing um, uh, imagery and, and images and whatnot. of This little hibiscus flower floating in the ocean. This, this, just, this is great. I love these little credits things that they do. So that was uh, Pokemon the Movie 2000. Uh, and so again, you know, I had it number 11 on my little tier list. Um, now, was, uh, let's see. Because I remember I looked up the, uh, the first movie and the, um, the, 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 the uh, criticism or whatever from the, uh, the critics. Uh, let's see if there was anything about 2000. Oh, oh, oh no! It says on Rotten Tomatoes, the English adaptation of the film has an approval rating of 19%, with the website's critical consensus reading, despite being somewhat more exciting than the previous film, this kitty flick still lacks any real adventure or excitement. What it does contain is choppy animation and poor voice acting. Doesn't match up to virtually anything out there. <laughs> oh, that's a big yikes. The plot is as tiresome as it was in the first movie, but the violence is tamed somewhat, so the positive messages shine a little more brightly. Yeah, I mean, uh, there was uh, a specific wording that I th I think I had written down for, you know, like, my thoughts and notes for each of the movies. And going into this film, um, what I remembered it as, and and what, honestly, what rewatching it reaffirms it as, is it's a much more conventional Pokemon movie than the first. The first one dealt with a lot more serious 
um, themes. This one, I, again, it, it, like I said, it's more of a conventional Pokemon movie. You know, there's a villain at, at, you know, on the loose, and, you know, there's legendary Pokemon that are threatening to destroy the world, and, you know, Ash and his friends have to stop him. There you go. Oh my god, the Pokemon! I forgot that Weird Al Yankovic did this! Everybody, Pokemon. <laughs> I would never forget about Sand Slash, but unfortunately the first movie did. Because they called it Sand Shrew. This song is friggin' hype! Alright, so yeah, you know, I'm just gonna sit through the, uh, the end of this, uh, these credits here. Just, again, you know, they, they, they do really, really good work with, you know, the backgrounds and, you know, the environment, and the ambience, whatnot going on here. Very good stuff. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, again, I, I kind of have to agree that it's just, it's not that thrilling. <clears throat> and as I mentioned, you know, several times before, it just seems like they really, really just hammered in the pokey shipping this time. I mean, they went ham with it. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, again, like, th this is pretty much, like, the peak of it. I, I, like, after this point, it really just does not get brought up as much, you know, in, in the English dub. But, uh, yeah. So, you know, I, I think... I think that this movie is going to stay at number 11, at least at this particular point in time. Like I said, it's not great, but it's not bad. You know, it's just... It's average. You know, it, it's good. It's just... I don't know. It, it just... It does really feel kind of samey. Um, it, it's... Yeah. I, and and the, the thing that really got me was the whole, uh, that, the uh, scripture or whatever it was, you know, the whole world will turn to Ash. It just, how, it just so happens that the main character's name is Ash. Like, there's no way that that was the way that it was written in the Japanese version. Also, I have to go back and, uh, where was it, about 105? Wait a minute, okay. I was going back to the part where Melody and Misty kind of interact. Okay, so wait a minute. I don't understand why in the world... Yeah, okay, I, I didn't space out hard enough. That is what happened. Melody was literally handing Misty this ocarina that she's never played before, that we know of, and to... to play a song that she has no idea what it is. Why in the world did Melody think that that was a good idea? <laughs> um, okay. Maybe it was the whole thing about like, oh, Ash isn't my boyfriend. I don't really care about him that much. So maybe Melody was like, okay, well, in that case, here, you take the ocarina and play the song instead, and I'll go save him. I just... I didn't get that. <laughs> I didn't get that at all. Anywho's. Um, so yeah, I, I think I've said about all I need to about this particular movie. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and get that snack that I said I wanted to get. You know, because I was watching uh, what what's her face? Oh God, I forgot her name already. M Melody's. Oh wait, no, it wasn't Melody's. It was the the green haired haired girl that like. She disappears after a certain point. Now that I think about it, we just never see her again after that. Um, yeah, she was just eating. I was just like, man, I could go for some snacks. But anyway, um, oh no! I, I was just about to sign out of this video, and I just happened to pop back onto the Wikipedia page for this movie. At the very bottom of the critical reception uh, section, it says... At the 2000 Stinkers Bad Movie Awards, 
The film was nominated for Worst Achievement in Animation, and the remake or sequel nobody, nobody was clamoring for. However, it lost Worst Achievement in Animation to Digimon the Movie. Yikes? I, I just, I don't think it was that bad. Am I crazy? I, I like, these, these people are acting like this was the worst thing that's ever been animated on the, on the big screen. Like, huh? <laughs> anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching, listening along and, and watching along with me. If you did, that was, that was fun. You know, this, this is fun. It's like a little watch party. That you can have whenever you want. <laughs> uh, so, uh, if you like this video, why don't you subscribe or check out some of my other videos? There's more on the way, so stay tuned. Don't forget to like this video and uh, click that little alert bell, the notification bell next to the sub button, so you can get alerts when I actually do upload videos, whenever that happens. And uh, yeah, if you're feeling generous, you can subscribe to me on Patreon or you can join my channel membership using the join button below. Yeah. yeah. Join as a channel member. That's gonna be it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in the next movie. A huge thank you to my monthly supporters who helped make this video possible. Joel, Colin, Crasher, Jasmine, Tiberia, Boo Games, Top Sauce, and Tyler.